Okay, today we have an example of one of the most frustrating kinds of photographs in my opinion. I believe these prints were popular in the 1970s, but I'm not 100% sure on that. They were printed on paper that has this wonderful honeycomb texture. Wonderful, yeah. I don't know where this paper came from. I don't know why it was so popular, but boy, it sure is annoying when it comes to scanning pictures because when you scan them, the honeycomb texture just jumps right out at you, just like this. And believe it or not, there is an easy way to fix this. So basically just go to your favorite search engine and the website retouchpro.com is a really good website for resources, tips, techniques, tutorials, and all kinds of things related to Photoshop, mainly as it pertains to retouching images though. But Retouch Pro is the website that I first learned about this FFT filter a long, long time ago. And pretty much any of the links that you find going to Retouch Pro um, with the FFT filter, it's going to get you headed in the right direction for how to find the filter, the files that you need to install to use this in Photoshop. And this FFT filter has been around for a long time. So whether you've got the newest Photoshop CS6 or if you're still using Photoshop 7, you will be able to find an FFT filter that will work in your version of Photoshop. It's also out there in 32-bit and 64-bit versions. You just have to look for it. Right, so this is how you have to get started. The most important thing, at least for the version of the filter that I have, is that you need to have a flat image and that means you need to have it be the background and nothing else. If you have the image on a separate layer using the FFT filter will lead to bad things so just keep that in mind. You need to have only one layer the background locked it just to open a JPEG and, or whatever the original file is. If for some reason you're stuck using an image where the images on a separate layer other than the background, it's got multiple layers, just save it out as a JPEG and open up the new file. So once you have it installed, go to filter and find your FFT filter. And this is what you get when you run it. Go to the channels, and on my filter, the red channel is the one we want. And the idea here is mainly to, you want to get rid of all the stars except for this one in the middle. The star in the middle you do not want to mess with. Uh, the very large cross that goes, you know, pretty much divides the image in half in, in the vertical and horizontal, you pretty much do not want to mess up these straight lines either, the, the main ones that divide it into four pieces. And because this is a honeycomb texture that we're getting rid of, the stars that you're mainly looking to remove will usually be patterned geometrically in groups of six. So as you can see here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. One in the middle, too. They, uh, it just depends on the image that you're working with. You know, it might look just like this pattern that you see in front of us here. It might not. Right, so the way you want to fix these, grab a brush. And the way I like to do this is I like to I like to get it get the size of my brush. Um it's hard to explain this. I just I'm going to set my hardness down to zero percent, and the size, I just, the size of my brush is purely arbitrary, I guess. <laughs> you do this enough time, you play with this enough, and you're going to get a, get a good idea for what you need to do. So, let's just start painting these things out. Oops, need to turn my flow up to 100% for this. So 
So there you go. That's the basic idea. Now it is bothering me that I haven't hit these ones in the middle on the line, but for right now, I'm going to leave those alone. Once you've got your dots painted, you want to select the RGB channel over here. And we'll just go back to layers for now. Go back to your filter menu, and there's an IFFT that's basically inverse FFT. And that's what you do to get back to your image. And you can see here, we've gotten rid of the honeycomb pattern, but we've still got some horizontal lines. And all is not lost. You don't want to go and run this filter again. I have found that that doesn't really work out so nicely. What you want to do is in your history panel, go back to your last step before you ran the IFFT. And then you can go to your channels, go back to the layer where you were painting on, and you can do some more work if you like. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and we'll paint these out, see if that helps us. I think there should be one here, so I'm just going to put one there. All right, now we'll do the IFFT again. Oops. <laughs> you have to select the RGB channel again before you can do IFFT. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Now, a lot of times you're going to end up with edges where the pattern doesn't go away. The more you play with this, the uh, more you'll figure things out. It may be possible to get rid of those sometimes just by painting on that layer, getting rid of some more white areas. It may not be possible. The more you play with this, the more you're going to learn. But no matter what you wanted to do to this image, the first step has got to be to get rid of that paper texture. Because if you don't, anything else you do is going to end up not very good. Now the painting out the spots with the black brush worked out great for this image, but you can also play around and for instance try the spot healing brush on these things. For some reason in, in the back of my mind I think that spot healing should technically work out better than just using a black brush, but that's not usually the case, but I just thought it I'll go ahead and show this just so you can see how it works. And I kind of want to do more here, but I'm going to see what it looks like now. See if fast forward. Yeah, by using the healing brush, it looks like it looks like the removal isn't as strong, I think. So let me go back. So yeah, it looks like using the black, like I did the first time, may be the better way to go about this for this image, rather than using the spot healing brush. And since this, since this method is so quick, I'll just go back to the original image, and we'll do it again.
And here, this image is the one that I used the healing brush on that red channel with FFT. And this is the one where I painted with black. Healing brush, painting with black. And because playing around with this filter doesn't take a lot of time, I play around with a lot. I experiment a lot. There's, other than what I've already mentioned, there's, there's no other tricks that I know of at this time. But there's nothing really more to show here. When you're using an FFT filter, you're mainly going to be concerned with painting out the stars that you can see. And the best way to get the FFT filter is just go to a search engine and search for it like I showed you earlier. I'm a big fan of retouchpro.com, um, but there are plenty of other sites out there that probably have good information as well. So I hope this video helps, and uh, good luck and have fun.